Hi, Healthy Place Watchers. It's Joanna, one of the authors of How to Live a Blissful Life, and I'm here to talk a little bit about dopamine. Um, hopefully you've just read my article on setting goals and the importance of setting goals for um, kind of becoming happier um, or feeling better, I should say. Um, I want to talk a little bit more specifically about dopamine um, and its role in that. Um, I'm no doctor, but I know a decent amount about dopamine um, for an amateur enthusiast. Um, so um, the first point that I really want to hit home is that you need to avoid like quick hits of dopamine. Um, because they actually make you feel worse. Um, and these, this is because of how dopamine is released in the system. There's two pathways. There's um, what's called a tonic release, which is sort of the baseline dopamine, low level, consistent all the time. Um, that's what allows us to move in the world because in addition to motivation, dopamine is the molecule of movement. Um, and then there is um, so-called phasic release. And the, this is more like the spikes of dopamine that happen in response to a trigger. Um, anything from, um, you know, candy to um, graduating college, those would both be considered um, phasic release triggers. Um, each spike of dopamine above your baseline um, is unfortunately paid back with a trough under your baseline. So you feel a little bit worse after you feel a little bit better. Um, that's just how it was designed or not designed. Um, how it was um <laughs> created and uh, it's unfortunate because um, the sharper the spike, the sharper the trough. So um, things that uh, give you a reward with little to no effort, um, such as candy, such as um, looking at your social media account or such as illicit drugs um, are gonna have the sharpest spikes um, and they're therefore gonna have the sharpest troughs. They're gonna make you feel worse. So step one um, in using the dopaminergic system to make yourself feel better um, is kind of wiping the slate clean of these quick hit, these quick triggers. Um, so that is basically just keeping yourself away from things that are going to make you feel good, um, but you didn't really earn them. And that part sucks. Um, you're going to not feel good for a little bit because um, you're not getting more dopamine to account for the fact that you're in this trough. Um, but it it goes away. You'll drift back to baseline and um, you'll you'll kind of be reset. So step one is like clean the slate. Step two is setting um, a SMART goal, SMART being an acronym, which is specific, measurable, achievable, um, relevant to your life, and time-bound. So you're going to achieve it in a certain amount of time. It's not just ambiguous for your whole life. Um, setting a goal kind of within these bounds, thinking about those things, is going to help you choose something um, where you can actually create a strategy that's going to be make sense. Um, because again, really it's the strategy and the execution of the strategy that matters. Um, so step three is create the strategy for that SMART goal that you chose and then execute on the strategy. Um, dopamine doesn't really care what you choose. It just is there to be utilized. Um, and the most important thing to remember that it really is the process of pursuing this goal more so than the conquest of the goal itself that's going to um, allow for this better feeling in your life. So choose a goal that makes sense, um, that you can actually get your teeth into, and then just keep at it. It doesn't even really matter if you make it, um, is the cool thing about this system. So I hope this helps. Um, go run your first 5K or um, write a book of poetry or whatever it is. Things um, more daunting or less, they all work. I hope this helps.